Hi guys, my name is Joanna Chen and I'm a Habitat Horticulture intern with the UC Davis Arboretum and Public Gardens. Today, I'll be reading If Hummingbirds Could Hum. This story was created as a collective effort between several departments within UC Davis. We'd like to extend a special thanks to Dr. Lisa Tell for her work as a co-contributor to the Hummingbird Garden in the Arboretum and for her work in contributing the How to Attract Hummingbirds to Your Garden section of this book. I hope you guys enjoy this reading today and learn a little bit about the lives of hummingbirds. If Hummingbirds Could Hum, a story by Marla K. Greenway. Hummingbirds don't hum a tune, instead they sing a song. But if those little birds could hum, would they let us hum along? Let's pretend that they can hum, let's say there is no doubt. So if they hummed from dawn to dusk, what would they hum about? They would hum about the sun, they wake and want to eat. They would hum about the flowers, oh, that nectar sweet. They would hum about the wind as they zip through the sky. They would hum about the bugs they catch while flying by. They would hum about the rain, they shake from feathers bright. They would hum about the sprinklers. Baths are a delight. They would hum of pollinating all their favorite flowers. They would hum about migration, flying hours and hours. They would hum when flying backwards, feeling very grand. They would hum at crowded feeders, drinking when they land. They would hum about their rivals. Look out, that's my space. They would hum at outdoor cats. Hey, this is not your place. They would hum of hidden nests in bushes, shrubs, and trees. They would hum of fuzzy chicks who snuggle in the breeze. They would hum when evening comes, the sun would slip away. They would hum and fall asleep to hum another day. How to attract hummingbirds to your garden. Food. Hummingbirds love drinking sweet nectar and they find it in brightly colored tubular flowers. Plants like hummingbird sage and California fuchsia are their favorites. Hummingbirds also eat small insects. If you want to keep hummingbirds happy in your garden, plant shrubs and trees that create a habitat for bugs to come to. Water. Hummingbirds need clean water to bathe in. They like misted or slow flowing water, but you might also see them flying through your sprinklers. If you have a fountain or bird bath in your garden, be sure to keep the water clean. Nesting. Hummingbirds nest in plants and trees where they feel comfortable and safe, like evergreen oaks and manzanita trees. They build their nests with fluff that can come from willows, milkweed, or animal fur. They use spiderweb silk to bind it all together. Rest. When they aren't busy looking for food and eating, Hummingbirds spend most of their time resting. Branches from California buckthorns, toyons, redbuds, and shrubby honeysuckles provide a great place for hummingbirds to perch in your garden. For, for more information on plants for hummingbird habitats, visit the UC Davis Arboretum and Public Garden website. How you can help hummingbirds. If you have a hummingbird feeder, keep it squeaky clean and filled with fresh sugar water. Choose a feeder that is easy to take apart, scrub, and disinfect. 
It's okay to use a little bit of soap as long as you rinse well. It helps to have two feeders so you can alternate between them. Make your own sugar water with one part white table sugar and four parts drinking water. That's all you need. Avoid other types of sugar or honey. Change the sugar water out every few days or if it gets cloudy. You may need to do this more often in hot weather. Fresh is best. Keep your kitty inside or build your pet a catio. It's safer for your cat and your hummingbirds. If you find a hummingbird on the ground, secure the area and refer to the flowchart on page 23. Hummingbirds need expert care. Never try to nurse or raise one on your own. For a licensed wildlife rehabilitator near you, visit Animal Help Now's website at ahnow.org.